Okay, folks, we're ready to throw down some fertilizer. This is the Anderson's Deep Green 24011. That's 24% nitrogen, no FOS, and 11% potassium. There's a little bit of sulfur, 1.1%. There's iron, 2%. And there is manganese, that is 1%. I'm really excited about this. I love iron. So when I can throw it down with my fertilizer, I always say, win, 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 win. I'm gonna be throwing down right close to four pounds per thousand square feet. I'll try to make sure to have some before and after pictures. That's always a little bit tricky because the lighting, if it's not exactly the same when you do the before versus the after, you realize it's hard to compare. Basically what I'm noticing with my lawn right now is that it's just not, it's not deep green. It's got like a little bit of a yellow hue to it. Um, it's not perfectly thick. It needs to fill in a little bit. I've got some bare spots. And so I just really wanna push it right now we're gonna wake up the lawn. We're gonna push it with the deep green 24011. Um, again, I'll try to show you the results, but uh, my favorite way to show the application of the actual fertilizer is of course, a slow motion montage. Let's do this. Well, it got dark on me last night. I was spreading fertilizer late into the evening and it was definitely like totally dark. I could barely tell where the fertilizer was going uh, when I finished up, but I did spread it all over the whole yard. So hopefully some of that footage turns out. I don't know, I guess you got to see it. I haven't seen it yet. You just saw it, whatever. Uh, so yeah, basically the reason I was staying out way late into the dark spreading that last night was because it was supposed to rain at like midnight or one o'clock in the morning. It did not. There's a chance of rain at three o'clock, four o'clock this afternoon. We'll see about that. And if that doesn't happen, there's another chance of rain at like seven or eight o'clock tonight. So we'll see about that. If not, then I'll get out the sprinkler and I'll move it around tonight and uh, get this watered in. But I did get a chance to take some before pictures. So I got some good before pictures so that we can compare because I, I wanted you to see that right now it's hard with lighting and figuring all this stuff out. But there, there are definitely spots in the yard that are darker green and spots that are more light. Um, I, I'm hoping and what's going to happen with that with that fertilizer with the iron in it um, it's going to make everything a lot more even colored but also everything more dark green so it's going to look awesome we got to get some water get this stuff into the soil and um, yeah that'll keep you posted on the results okay I just got back from the coal mines but not really though I, I that's just a thing that I say that means I just got off work uh, I got off work and Gonna move a sprinkler around. We did not get that rain. So there's another chance of rain tonight in the middle of the night. So basically, I'm gonna go put a sprinkler out to just 100% guarantee that it will rain tonight. That's how that works, right? So I guess if I'm gonna put out a sprinkler, then we need a, a slow motion sprinkler montage. Just kidding that'd be dumb um but yeah i guess now if i get the sprinkler out and or if it rains then the next thing will just be for me to show you the results so i'll see you then okay we are at one week out i put the fertilizer down 
We have had tons of rain. It's been kind of crazy, but that's good for fertilizer anyway, is what's gotten watered in quite a bit. So that deep green 24011 has slow release nitrogen in it. So it's gonna keep feeding the lawn for four to six weeks. So it should look about the same, this nice uniform deep green for at least a month, right? So again, I think it depends on how much it rains and all that sort of stuff, but the slow release nitrogen and the iron in there, ooh, mwah, this stuff. I love it, worked great, you can see the results. I did take some video, I think it was like four or five days out from the fertilizer and it was already kicking in and looking really good. Again, I think I said something about this earlier, making the lighting perfectly uniform between the before and after pictures. It was kind of overcast like this in the evening time where the sun was over there. So I think that the lighting should be pretty close to the same. So then you can compare the before and after pretty well. But in real life, I'm looking at this it's awesome like it looks way more uniform some of my bare spots are filling in oh it's just coming along so sweet and i'm excited to see it stay like this again what's the bag the, the product online it says four to six weeks so slow release nitrogen again that is amazing so anyway there is deep green 24011 for you guys i'll make sure and have a link for you um, down there and thank you to the andersons for sponsoring this video i'll see you guys next time hope you have a great day Okay, so I think I ended this video like three or four days ago. I can't remember exactly what it was. But I ended the video because I was thinking, man, that fertilizer is done. Like, it can't possibly get any better. But look at that. <laughs> I, I mowed it. Um, oh, it just looks like carpet. Like, insane. So I love the color. Striping amazing. Feels so soft. Like, great results. That's the bottom line. Great results from that Anderson's Deep Green 24011. Like... Ooh, mwah. anyway, um, yeah, so I'm ending the video again now because I just had to show you the update that it got even better after another few days. And man, maybe this is gonna keep exploding like this. Like I said, that slow release stuff just, uh, oh, okay. Anyway, you get, the, you get the point. So now I'll let you go. Have a great day, weekend, week, whatever, bye.